Hey, how you doing? God, I am so nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's due to um, the movie being. I gotta move this real quick. There. <laughs> we have to do the same thing with Irving's, like. Uh, oh, because of this pine tree thing. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's. <laughs> Due to this really intense and sh scary as shit movie we just saw. Oh, fuck. <laughs> or that I accidentally drank some spoiled milk earlier. <laughs> it could be a mixture of both. It, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe a mixture of both. Because I, I, I feel fine and, and my stomach was still like, Oh, motherfucker. Uh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Here's what happened. I went to go buy a thing of milk from the corner store and also I bought some Oreos. And I was dunking the Oreos in the milk, so I wasn't noticing until about seven or eight Oreos in. And then actually went to go take a drink of the milk. There was something very spoiled about it. <laughs> Which I wasn't noticing from dipping it in there and just eating it. And also it didn't look like cottage cheese. And I looked at the expiration date. It was like a week ago. <laughs> Than I just bought today from the hometown pantry. Oh, see, no, there you go. That that explains that. Like, that's not. I mean, I'm not surprised that happened. Yeah, but it hasn't happened to me before. Oh, God damn. But anyway, <laughs> easily oh, the uh, God damn. I want to see more horror movies like this. Right. Like seriously. Like, I I know that there's like there. There's horror movies coming out that I'm looking forward to that are related to, like, ghosts, demons, exorcisms, whatever. I'm looking forward to The Conjuring, too. Oh, yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that that's what I want all horror movies to be. Yeah, it's like, I, I feel like, and, and I, I know that it's not the case. Mm -hmm. I know that. But it feels like, for the past, like, five years, all we've seen is ghost stuff. Mm-hmm. And some of them are good. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. It's like anything else. I'm sure there's maybe been some that have probably been among my favorite movies of those years. But um, a little variety, please, in terms of in terms of what gets released to theaters. But yeah, shit. Like in, <laughs> in the past six months, uh, honestly, just since like fucking January. Uh huh. I think almost every horror film I've seen has been a ghost one. And then ones where when you find out the resolution of them, technically they're not, like The Boy. Well, yeah. You spend most of the movie... Yeah, like 90% of that movie you're like, mm -hmm. right, it's it's haunted. It's yeah. fucking haunted. It's, and then it's like, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> no, never mind. It's bad Ronald. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Forgot yeah. he was up in the fucking attic. This is... This movie is just... Among stuff like Tenement or Fight for Your Life or like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Last House on the Left, like really like bloody knuckles what horrible things a human being can do to another human being yeah. type of horror. And it's gruesome. It's like scary as fuck. Because the, the, the violence in this, it's not that it's... It's not played for gore, and it's not played over the top. It's, it's, fucking, terrifying looking because of how, like, just realistic the depictions of it are, and how sudden and shocking it is. Like if, yeah, if fuck you, like someone will be in the middle of a sentence, and all of a mm -hmm. sudden, just like the most unthinkable fucking things will happen. Yeah, uh, which makes this movie feel so real like in the sense that like you're put in the same you're put in the situation that these people are in watching the movie you have no idea if they're gonna make it out of this shit like at all and because there is no supernatural element to the movie or anything like that you are putting yourself in this situation as you're watching it oh yeah like fuck i've been to venues that look like that i have too like jesus christ like yeah and seriously like they like they even kind of explain that like go to a fucking punk rock show mm -hmm. like you will see at least a skinhead at every fucking punk mm -hmm. rock show and uh, fuck me I'm I'm glad I wore my hat to this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I swear, people, I, I, I'm not a skinhead, all right? I'm just 
bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that wouldn't have looked good walking up there like, it's like two for fucking white pride the movie. <laughs> I mean, green room. Look, I, I missed the Springfield Trump rally, all right? <laughs> 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 so that's what's making America great again. <laughs> Neo Nazis. Patrick Stewart. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Like, that's a fucking performance. Wouldn't it be amazing if he was, if it turned out he was the same character he played in Masterminds? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 because that character only had a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 20 years later. Like, True. you know. And he was a very charismatic leader with a militant following. Mm hmm. I could maybe see it. Yeah, always <laughs> some young person takes him down. This one, Anton Yelchin and Imogen Poots, <laughs> Vincent Carthizer in the other movie. <laughs> God, fuck, that was him, wasn't it? Vincent Carthizer? Yeah. Fuck me, it has been too long since I've seen that movie. <laughs> this movie is about... It, it's it's a simple enough movie. Oh, like, yeah. It, it, and that's what I love about it. Like, like, it never makes itself too complicated. Like, I've seen no. so many where, like... like and and, and I, I love this movie. Mm -hmm. Phrase that first. I love this fucking movie. But, mm -hmm. like, uh, like uh, The Collector. Yeah. Fucking great movie. I love the collector. Uh, honestly, like it. I mean, not quite to the same extent here, but like it's 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 a similar. You know, like I, I would I would classify these movies together. Like like oh, if you liked that, like you know, you'll 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 probably want to watch this. Mm -hmm. Like if I was describing it to somebody, but like like it's such a complicated setup. The collector. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not 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 to like a certain extent, but I mean, just the fact that like it's like okay, well. It's it's a heist movie, and then wait no it's a, it's a, he's trapped in the like he's mm -hmm. you know he stumbled into a horror movie in progress, and now like fuck like mm -hmm. it's like this is just like these are some kids who went to a fucking venue, some bad shit happens, and fuck me does that make for a long goddamn night? It's uh it's about a group of punk rockers. You got Anton Yelchin in there. Uh ah oh, God I can't remember the girl's name uh she was on arrested development yeah she uh, uh she was in that uh that final girls one too uh, yeah here uh, last year uh, uh off the top of my head i can't remember good actress Ali is shock at something like that yeah something yeah um and they Weird fucking name they, they just <laughs> kind fun. of travel around like playing different venues uh they don't really do anything digitally. They don't put anything online. They just, you know, they siphon gas in their van. They go show to show and... Fucking really living that fucking punk rock. Yeah, just living out on the road and everything. And they get offered... They need some money, so they get offered to play this venue in which they are told, like, this, look, don't bring up politics. This is just kind of... That this is a very like ultra extremist right wing. It's like there, there's a lot of yeah, like they they know ahead of time. Like there's yeah. a lot of skinheads. Like you're you're gonna see that shit. Mm -hmm. And because like they even ask like, well, fuck, like what are we talking? Like they're not gonna be like fucking burning crosses out there. Like no, 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 just don't fucking do anything. Just go play music and fucking leave. And so what they do. Man, this is this is the most punk rock thing I've seen in a long time. One of the <laughs> I say that as a disco man, by the way. Um, one of the songs that they sing in front of this group of obvious skinheads is just like a "fuck the Nazis" or something like that. They're singing like they're singing like some anti-Nazi song in which they're getting spit on and beer bottles thrown at them. I'm yeah. like. <laughs> That's ballsy, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> virtually everyone in there is probably packing. Half of them are probably drunk. <laughs> and I mean, and it's looking across that crowd, like, like the dude that sent them there, like mentioned, like, like yeah, like there, there's a lot of them up there. Like, no, it's the fucking, like, it's the crowd. It's everyone mm -hmm. who turned out that night. Mm -hmm. It's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Christ. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, the, the crowd's not exactly for their set, but they kind of mm. warm up once they start playing other songs and, and not being just shitheads. They have very short-term memory, this audience does. <laughs> I say that as somebody who has once in my life told the neo-Nazi to fuck you, you Nazi fuck. <laughs> he was very... This was like several years ago. It's like ten or more years ago. He was very upset at me because I... I may have made out with his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as you say that, like there's some ambiguity to that, but I feel like I already know the answer is yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> this night may have ended with me and a couple other people running away like the Three Stooges do at the end of every like episode. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I thought that was going to go in a very weird direction. Like It's like this night ended with me and a couple other people like running a train on this guy's girlfriend. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> fucking hell, man. <laughs> oh, this is back when there was a bar in the Hilton, the underground bar. So this was 10 plus years ago. <laughs> man. <laughs> But there was a, that was only like one or two neo Nazis. Oh, I could outrun that. I was very drunk. <laughs> Everyone was. Well, this is like three in the morning. And it's hard to catch somebody when you're goose stepping. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I he had a lot of rhinestones on. Like I, and I was probably just dressed like I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, after after they play this set and their their show is done, they go backstage in which someone's been stabbed in the head. Yeah. Just there's a dead body on the floor, knife and, in her head. And to be fair, like they they were like this close to. I mean, like these situations do. Mm. They were this close to not even being fucking involved in any of this. No. Like, like they go back to like go back to the green room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, all their gear is already outside the room, and they're like, well, what the fuck? Like, they're, mm -hmm. you know, they're packing us out already. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, yeah, no, uh, some shit, uh, you, you know, we, we got you loaded. Like, you guys just need to grab your shit, and, like, you know, you're good. It's like, all right. And then it's like, oh, fuck, I forgot my phone in the room. Man. Walk in the room, and there's just a bunch of people standing there, and a chick on the floor with just a fucking knife right out of her fucking head. Oh, fuck, and I forgot my knife, too. Let me just, let me just get that. <laughs> and... And then they're trapped... Fuck. ...in this green room with neo-Nazis. A couple of them on the inside, there's a gun. Um, a lot on the outside... And the plan is, let's get all of the partiers and everyone out, let's get the bands out of here and everything, and let's just try to talk this band out so we can murder them. Anton Yelchin spends a good portion of this movie with his hand barely hanging on to the rest of his arm. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Like, that... When that happened pretty quick off, I'm like, Oh, fuck, I, I was under the assumption he was going to make it a little longer in this movie. <laughs> he does, I, I love that about this movie, because, sorry, spoilers, but he does, he makes it, and then characters who, maybe you don't necessarily think they're probably going to make it to the end, but you think they're probably going to be in the movie for a little while longer, will just get shot in the face, or have their throat ripped out by a dog. Like, th this movie is brutally realistic, and that, like, it doesn't wait for any kind of movie moment, like, the music gets heavy, waiting for, like, a yeah, the, jump scare. There, there's no, there's no building, I mean, the tension is already built. Yeah. It's at a head already, so mm. there's no, like, there's no build-ups to these things happening. They just fucking mm -hmm. happen. Yeah. And and it's just it's so jarring each time cuz like it makes you shit your pants. There's a guy there's a character in this movie who goes in to kill them but then actually does find out what the deal is going on because they're told by Patrick Stewart that it was something else that happened. But then one guy who's sent in to kill him figures out like oh oh okay this is who put a knife in the girl's head. So 
you're like, okay, this guy's uh, now on their side. He's going to help them get out of this venue and and hopefully to safety. And a couple minutes later, that guy gets a shotgun blast in the face. Yeah, in a <laughs> fucking sentence. Uh-huh. Like, it's, I mean, it, it's the fucking, like, deep blue sea moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, just in mid-talk. Just, yeah. And you just see, like, his whole fucking head blow open and just slump. And he's like, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, my God, that happened. Oh, this isn't, oh, shit. This isn't CGI blood, by the way. This isn't, like, we're not watching a Robert Rodriguez movie here. This this looks like they just shot a guy in the face. It fucking tears all over because it's mm-hmm. fucking just like scatter shot oh, like people get their fuck. chest cut open with a straight razor oh my god throats cut that fucking like like i can i can do a lot of shit but that almost made me queasy just from the uh just from the just from the way it was done because yeah like, it's like yeah when you're cutting somebody you're cutting something with something that fucking sharp it is that easy mm-hmm. it's i mean it's mm-hmm. so like yeah like they're trying to like I, I I know I've seen that guy in shit, but I can't fucking place his name. Oh, the guy who got cut open. Yeah, yeah, I, I forgot too. I mean, he looked he looked familiar, but I can't remember. But uh, but yeah, like they're they're he's this big motherfucker, and they're trying to like, cause they're all like fucking punk rock kids. They weigh like ninety pounds. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> so, like they're trying to choke this fucking guy out, mm-hmm. and they're asking like, well, how the fuck do we know if he's out? Fucking I mean, you Poots just has this box cutter, just like, yeah, and there's. It, this there's, just happens. Yeah, there's no lead up to it. like. I uh-huh. thought she was gonna like, like maybe like, like, like scratch him on the yeah. arm or like poke him or something. Mm-hmm. No, she just fucking unzips this guy from mm-hmm. fucking bottom to top. It's like what? Yeah. No the fuck. No big like music sting or anything like that. Just this. This shit just happens, like right in front of your face. It's like Jesus fucking Christ. Are you going to climb inside him to stay warm? There's what th- the fuck are you planning to do, woman? That thought passed my head, too. It's like, well, now they got somewhere else to hide. <laughs> um, this has such... This has some of the most intense sequences in it that I've seen since, uh... Like, the finale of 8mm, where Nicolas Cage was going through Machine's house with the <laughs> record skipping and yeah. everything. Like... It, that's how vicious and ferocious this film is. <laughs> but it's not like one scene. Like, it's the fucking movie. Mm-hmm. It's like, fucking like 15 minutes in, shit's gone to hell. And then it's the next like 70 minutes where it's like, fuck, now what? Mm-hmm. And, oh my God. Like, it's, I like though too that it's it's painfully obvious that like it, it this this forgoes like a lot of like the stuff that you see in in a lot of like not necessarily bad or even camp horror films but mm-hmm. like like just ones where suddenly it's like a bad situation starts and then everybody becomes like a fucking pro at everything oh yeah like imogen poots spends a lot of the movie probably high on something it seems and she's, yeah she's obviously a little tweaked on something it never specifically mm-hmm. says but just the way she's fucking acting yeah and once they get out of the green room there's at least two or three of them that are picked off pretty quick because again like you said they are these just these young thin punk rock guys and there's man-eating dogs in there there's people with machetes and shotguns well, yeah you're probably not gonna last very long and, yeah and like and these guys are obviously like they're they're not just like like preaching the doctrines of you know white is right like these are some guys that like like have like some level of like whether you know armed forces or mm-hmm. just like fucking you know backyard training or something like these guys like at least know what the fuck they're doing Mm -hmm. i do like though that there's really only so many of them too like it's not and yeah they're armed to the teeth they got dogs they got like a bunch of fucking weapons and knives and all of this shit but it's not like uh all of a sudden like the cholos coming in and there's like 
tens of hundreds of them just coming in through the windows and everything like that. Yeah. No, this is this is a pretty small area. Like so, yeah, they certainly outnumber the people in the green room, but. They only have so many men, too. But yeah, I mean, they outnumber them, but if if anything, maybe, like, two to one. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, even towards the beginning, like, the, like Patrick Stewart's, like, wanting to keep this thing as fucking contained as mm-hmm. he can. So, like, basically, he picks, like, his handful of guys that he knows will, like, keep the mm-hmm. fuck quiet about this shit and do what needs to be done. And and that's it. Like those are the only people that include. Like, like yeah, like he probably could have. Like if he wanted to, he could have gave the fucking word, and that entire crowd would have rushed that back room. Uh huh. But that's not what the fuck he wanted to happen. No, he wanted to make it look like n- n- absolutely nothing happened in that room, and whatever stupid thing did happen, then this band that we're gonna kill is gonna get blamed for it. Um. So think it's like think less. Less assault on precinct thirteen and more like straw dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Where yeah, like they definitely have the numbers, but it's yeah, it's not like they have like an entire fucking militia out there. They've got like maybe eight to ten guys. Mm. But when you're only four fucking people, eight to ten <laughs> guys is a fucking problem. Yeah. And, and when and this is you know, like, what is got his arm duct tape three from, and a half men yeah <laughs> god damn but yeah and, it, and it's the sort of thing like and this isn't one of those movies where like like I said like it's it's not suddenly everyone is like proficient with everything mm-hmm. like it's like they end up with guns half a dozen times in this movie and they probably hit what they're aiming at like once or twice. Oh, the girl only kind of grazes that dog that was coming at her, and she shot at it with a shotgun, but this girl's never shot a shotgun in her life before. Oh, exactly. So, yeah, this dog is charging her. She shoots at it, kind of grazes it a little bit, and the dog still kills her. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like they... They don't... They can't hit the fucking broadside of the barn, but... Why would you expect them to? And, uh-huh. and yeah, like, that's what I hate about a lot of these movies where, like... Somebody's like, like, oh man, like there's fucking whatever going on outside, <clears throat> fucking zombies and shit, or like House fucking, of the Dead. And, yeah, and all of a sudden yeah. it's like, it's like this is too fucked up. Shotgun, let's fucking rock and roll, and it's just mm-hmm. like, wow, you got really good at this, and like, because like, even when it's like, 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 like some fucking scouts guide bullshit. Yeah, because even when like shit goes south. <clears throat> And they realize, like, these guys are trying to fucking murder us. Mm -hmm. Even then, like, you can tell, like, they have a hard time, like, grappling with, like, if we have to, like, like, do this, like, if we have to fucking, like, go the other way with this, like, fuck. Like, (laughs) like the first time, like, uh, that uh, Anthony Olsen, like, fucking machete chops a guy, Mm -hmm. like, he he's just swinging wild. Like mm-hmm. he has no fucking idea. And once it happens, he's like, you know, he fucking backs up. Like, oh fuck! Like when you hit someone <laughs> in the neck with a machete, it's very disturbing. <laughs> it might fuck with you a little bit, especially if you're probably only half with it because like you look like your arm's been put through like a garbage disposal. Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> I'm so glad this movie finally came to Springfield. Um... I've heard nothing but great things about it. Uh, it's been out at several other places before it finally came here. So it it just came to Springfield like this weekend. Uh, but sure enough, we got shit like the darkness right away. <laughs> we need to see this. <laughs> yeah, God damn, this is. <clears throat> I hope it ends up going a lot more places. If you're somewhere where this movie isn't playing, I hope this goes somewhere somewhere around there soon because it is worth shelving out whatever the theater cost is for it. Oh yeah. Oh fuck it, definitely. This is so far easily the easily the best horror movie I've seen of the year so far. Um, between this and. What other good... The Witch was good. I th- I think I, I like this movie a lot better than I like The Witch, but The Witch was still good. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Because um, did... it was... I mean, it was either the ass end of last year or the very beginning of this year, and I can't remember which, uh, that uh, Crimson Peaks. Was that last year or this year that that actually hit? God. Um... 
can't remember. <laughs> it's like, it's like fuck. Like I know it. I know it's out on DVD now, so it's been at least three months. That I think was last year. But yeah, like I, I cannot I'm, fucking for the life of me remember. Was that? I did that come out like around October of last year? Um. Because if it came out this year, I would have been slightly skeptical because it would have come out like way earlier in the year. Oh yeah, no, that shit. That yeah, that was that was in October. I just remember mm-hmm. it was fucking cold, so I knew it was mm-hmm. in like, like the past like, yeah. you know, like six months or so. So I was like, like fuck, was that this year or last year? Like, yeah. There is some horror movies coming up that I am looking forward to. Like, I, I, I do really want to see Conjuring 2. I want to see Lights Out. And I really want to see, for the same reason that I really wanted to see this, um, because I just want to see more stuff like this, is uh, that movie Don't Breathe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I showed Letty the trailer that mm-hmm. the other day, like, after I got back. It's like, you need to watch this. Oh, it's three people trapped in a house with a crazy blind Stephen Lang. And it looks fucking solid <laughs> the terrifying part about that is is like even though it's he's blind he's still Stephen Lang so he still has the upper hand in this in- yeah. entire situation uh huh there was even a quote cause we we mentioned this when right like when we got out of the darkness the other day there was a quote on Rotten Tomatoes that said uh the only scary thing about this movie was at least I got to see the trailer for Don't Breathe in front of me. <laughs> like, that's what that's what we said when we left the theater. It's like, Jesus Christ, like, that was good. Like, just <laughs> fucking review that trailer. This movie is uh, from the director of... Green Room is from the director of a movie that I saw that's not bad. It was called Murder Party. I watched it up in Chicago. Uh, it was It was pretty entertaining. Yeah, I, I know there, there's another one of his. I, I've got it queued up on Netflix. It's just, it's queued up with like 500 mm. other movies I have queued up on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, the one that he did between that one and this one, uh, Blue Ruin. Oh, that yeah. I haven't seen. Uh, it. I've heard some good stuff about it. It's just one of those movies like I just keep not having a chance to watch. I can, uh, I don't even, I mean, I know that title, but I don't. I don't know if I've heard one way or the other about that movie, other than just knowing the title of it. Um, I can vouch for Murder Party. Like it, it's fun and entertaining. It's I, I, I wouldn't say it's like fucking disturbing as shit like this movie is, Fuck but hell. but Murder Party was a, <laughs> was a fun set. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Any final thoughts? Uh, <clears throat> no, I mean just if. If you can find some place that's showing this, like definitely fucking go. Like it, mm-hmm. it's it's worth your fucking time. Like it it is absolutely worth going going out and catching. Like, like I mean, yeah, I mean it's if you can't, I mean it's not like fucking into the world type shit. But like like if if it's playing near you, like fucking go catch it. Like I fully recommend going to support this movie. It's like yeah, I mean if if, if we can get some more shit like this coming out, like. Mm-hmm. That that that's that's a good that's a good step because like I say like like yeah you know, like you point out like like there's a lot of like supernatural horror stuff that's been coming out these past few years and I mean I, I know it's like not like you know a huge like problem like this is you know there's quite a few of them that have been pretty decent mm. but it's nice to get something fucking different yeah yeah god damn and I. <laughs> I love this movie. We're seeing this at Parkway. I love this movie theater because if I'm seeing something with you here, that means we probably just saw like a really fucking good horror film. If if yeah. I'm <laughs> they they always like the oddball movies that like always turn out to be good. Like for some reason, always end up over here. Like not always. Like I th- I'm really like I think we had to come over here to watch like Green Hornet, but yeah. <laughs> We saw predators here, but yeah, um, shit, like like come over here to fuck like if it starts with a screen gems logo, it probably comes over here. And then if I'm seeing something here with Dave, that means it's some horrible religious thing that we've had to go see. <laughs> Except for that one time where uh, I think you weren't feeling very good, so Dave and I had to go see it. Follows. Oh fuck yeah! I missed out on the that one. <laughs> we saw it. We saw it. Follows here, um, but that's <laughs> this is. It's, God's Not Dead 2 is still playing here. 
It's like green room. God's not dead too. Why do we get the feeling that that entire like extended family that was like sitting out here in the parking lot? Why do I have a feeling that's what they were seeing? God's not dead too. I don't know what else is playing here. When I worked here, there used to be like a marquee up on both of the walls over there. They took that shit down probably because it was a pain in the ass to put up shit. Oh, I'm sure, but yeah, I remember like th that helped because like if as I was driving by here, I could always look over like it's like oh no shit that's on okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't they they gave up on that. It's like everyone has phones. You don't need to drive by the theater now. Mm hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> they got the posters up there. You're really curious as scroll log side there and look at the posters <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh coming up next weekend is angry birds uh um the nice guys and uh fuck yeah the hell fucking yeah <laughs> um and yeah i know there's one more but i can't fucking place it. neighbors too that's what it was. oh and i think Al yeah allison and i i think are seeing the riff tracks of uh time Chasers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Time Chasers is coming back. Yeah. Yeah, Time Chasers is is uh, that's on Tuesday. <laughs> Which is a good one. I like that one. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> See a Time Chase Chasers on the big screen. Right on. <laughs> See ya.